My name's Jenny Powell. I am part of the Visual and Performing Arts team here at Brindish Green. And within that team, I lead dance across the school. We're going to start our dance lesson this morning with a warm-up. Our school is very lucky. We have had a great deal of support. My name's Alison Swan. I'm a dance in education specialist. I work for The Place. We deliver CPD in schools all over London. We cover all areas of the curriculum, but we're most commonly asked how one should deliver a dance warm-up. A dance warm-up is different from a PE warm-up because in a PE warm-up, you are asking children to get their bodies ready. In a dance warm-up, you're asking them to get ready. That's be prepared in the widest possible sense and to introduce ideas and body actions that they might use later when they're composing ideas of their own. When planning a dance warm-up, it is really important to take into consideration the personalities of your class as well as the age in which you're teaching. If a teacher is worried about dance warm-ups, I would suggest that they stick to things that are quite simple and make sure they're doing movements that they feel comfortable doing in front of the children. We'll give an example of a warm-up that's better maybe for key stage one. Walking is a perfectly adequate way of warming up, but you're asking them to control things, change the quality of the movements, and it's careful, there's no running involved. So you're using the big muscles to start pumping the blood around the body. One. So instantly children find that funny to slow down. For younger children, it can be beneficial to make sure you're doing more fun activities, more games, more working together and using the dance space properly. And for the older children, you might want to consider making sure you're using dance vocabulary and building upon previous learning that their children have done. So for say key stage two, you could develop the walking and we do a warm up called, we call the flock. Flock as in a flock of birds. So you walk all around the room in between people, not touching anybody and not touching anything around the edges. And there are four exercises. So you walk until I call them out. So number one, if we start rolling down through the spine, fists together, make sure they fit neatly between your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay there. So you should just get low enough to just touch the floor. Knees are bent, eight counts to unroll. One, two, three, four, head comes up, last of all. In a dance warm up, you have to be aware of the health and safety issues and you want to encourage good posture habits by standing beautifully in a dance space and watching and copying you as accurately as they can. Number two, feet in this position again, arms up, ski swing. So you're going to bend the knees, swing the arms back, swing them forward and you do that twice. Number three is we're getting warmer so we're going to stretch the big muscles of the legs, stretch up high, Stretch to the other side, up high, this time in the middle, other side down low. Number four, keep your feet glued to the floor and fidget for eight counts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think if teachers are a little afraid and anxious about doing a dance warm up, the best advice I would give is to keep it simple. Do small actions, repeated, whole body actions, swinging, bending and stretching. A warm-up is for getting them ready for what you want them to learn later in the lesson. 